guys got a few things to cover so we're gonna jump right in 1975 chevy caprice convertible 350 ac car fully optioned car power windows power locks power seats all that stuff we're selling it as a project but that doesn't mean that we haven't already safety inspected this car we go through these cars make sure they're running good driving good but we're gonna turn this one over to somebody else my bag is mechanical i'll leave it up to you guys to put your touch on it and make it as pretty as you want all that good stuff all right let's talk about it. pretty straight car as you can see body lines are good look at that door shuts up nice and tight lines are good on it little damage in the tail light panel decent chrome but see the rubbers are starting to detach here and here It's driver quality paint. It's gonna have some blemishes. I'm gonna cover them as much as I can. Biggest thing over here is that the trim is detaching. This will all need to be taken care of. But you can see same here. Doors jam up tight. A little crease there. If I can find a set of hubcaps, I just realized as I was shooting this video that this car has Pontiac hubcaps. I tried to find a set of uh, Caprice hubcaps, some wire hubcaps and throw them on there. A little bit of discoloration in the hood from Sunfade. Top is fairly new. No rips, no tears, nice glass back window. Jump in, take a look at the interior. Interior is gonna need a little love. As you can see, see the dashboard. It's got a couple of cracks there. And we'll get on that other side. There's no foam, if you can see that in there. Some discoloration down there. Biggest thing with this, um, and we'll try to cover it in the underbody video, is this car is not necessarily, uh, it's not the rear floor pans, it's the rear seat pan. I guess water ponded in there, and it's gonna need that pan. This top goes up and down. It does require a little bit of two-man assistance. Let me grab some help and we're gonna make it happen. You gotta go the right way, sir. There we go. So, like I told you guys, top lets down just fine. Folds all the way back. Everything articulates like it should. Um, probably needs new cables back there. Yeah, change off the cables and you should be just fine. This gives you a little better look at the interior. Bottoms of the doors. We'll do the same on the driver's side and then we're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up let's see 
time. Power seat actually goes forward and backward like it should. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. All of that works. Power windows work like they should. So that's what you guys got. Running, driving, project. why they put that sealer on there missing visors in case i didn't point anything else out there you guys go 1975 chevy caprice straight shooter um, I think I said earlier in the video that it was the rear seat pan which does need to be replaced but the rear floor pans need to be replaced as well um, all of those parts are available on Amazon and they're pretty cheap as a matter of uh, fact um, I just wanted to go back I had to look at the underbody video um, in case you guys don't know how this works I shoot the underbody videos when we first get these cars in or when we get them in for service um, so that video was shot a couple of months ago. So I was going off a of recollection That was before I made my mind up of exactly what I was going to do with this car But there you guys go. You'll see it. Take a look at the underbody. All right, let's get a look up underneath this 75 Caprice I want to be a hundred percent when I tell you That it's gonna need the rear driver floor And right here under the uh rear driver's seat, I guess you would call it. The rear seat on the driver's side is gonna be the same thing. Just from the buildup of mud. And then while you're at it, you may as well replace this one too. And that. So now that I got a better look at it, I would tell you both rear pans and the rear seat pan. So this rear section is gonna need some love. I'll patch this into the video as well. The trunk pan. I realized that we never covered that. Trunk pan looks really solid. There's a lot of extras, parts and whatnot in here, but aside from some surface, trunk pan is in really good shape. 